Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's cool to have you here with me. This is Cenge, your personal stylist from Milan and today guys I will be showing you what I bought recently in this beautiful fashion city. <laughs> But this city is really really dangerous in the sense that anywhere you go you find stores and so it's hard not to find something that you like. Since I'm doing personal shopping sessions with clients here in Milan, I often go around stores and I often spot something I fall in love with. We all know that problem, let's get over it, but I learn how to stop myself. My main destinations are outlet villages and some of the stores in the heart of Milan that I really like. You know, I also have a great relationship with the storekeepers, so I often like going back on and just have a chit chat with them while, you know, sorting out things that I do like. Okay, let's see the items, what I got in the last like few months. I'm really excited to show you. The first one, socks. I love socks so much, sorry. I love socks so much and I think these are just such cute socks. I'm really satisfied with Calcedonia's quality and also the fact that these are like really particular designs. I think these are really nice accessories, especially if you have the right shoes to match them with. But since they often have like these um, promotions that you buy like five pairs for 10 euros or stuff like that, it's really worth it. Regarding to makeup, I usually purchase my makeup products from Kiko or uh, Wicon or Wicon, I have no freaking idea how to say it. Both of the brands are Italians, Kiko is from Milan, um, Wicon I, I'm not sure where is it from exactly. When it comes to lipsticks, I really like the matte liquid lipsticks of Wicon, they have like 1000 million billion and billion shades so you can just make sure to choose one that is just matching with your character, your season. And when it comes to foundation or mascara, I always go to Kiko. I really love the products of this store. They are really quality. This one is really cute. I still didn't try it, honestly, but I always buy the foundations by their store, so I think it's gonna work. I'm already uh, telling you that this time I bought like a lot of purple. Purple is a perfect match to my season, that is the autumn. So I was deciding, like, I just really considered purple as a new color in my wardrobe. So I was really concentrating on getting some items in this shade. So the first one is a really cute dress. It came with a t-shirt. It is a brand Please that is um, Italian. And I really love the fabric of this purple dress. Like, it's just amazing. It's so soft and so shiny, but still not too shiny so you know what I mean. It makes you look like as if you had a bit more tits than you actually have or at least I feel like it but um, yeah so that's like definitely an advantage of this dress. I actually cut down the button because it was a size large I felt comfortable in but it was just way too long so I had to uh, cut it and just you know um, so it's so uh, that it's my size perfectly right now. He should came with the dress and it is, well, not really nice, I think, honestly. Like, it is a bit see-through and I would not wear it without the dress, but never mind, like, the dress is really nice. These two pieces together look great and this dress can be worn with any other kind of, like, uh, like a lupetto. Um, the turtleneck or any other kind of shirt so I'm not stressed about this white shirt thing at all. The next one is a really cute jacket you could see in my shopping vlog back then and I just want to show it to you. I know it was June I think that I got it but I don't care like it's autumn and I just wanted to show you this beautiful jacket because Maybe it can inspire you and maybe, you know, it gives an idea. I really like it. It's again a bit 90s style regarding to the sleeves and I really like the way how it's closing on your waist. Like, it defines you so much and again gives the impression of having like 
really like bigger tits because it gives like a free space and you cannot really see underneath what is there so definitely one of my favorite pieces reminds me a little bit of like the plastic bag you put in your trash can but who cares like we like particle stuff so it's okay it's definitely a piece that looks great with everything you can match it with almost anything um so yeah this is one of my favorite jackets for now the next one is this blouse this is from Talibel so Yes, it happens that I go to fast fashion stores, unfortunately. But this is like such a nice, nice, nice shirt. And what I like in particular is just the decoration on it. Like guys, I can tell you this, like here you can see that they have no more decoration. That obviously means that this one is applied by hand. And that's a work, I will tell you, even if it's industrial it's still a DIY project. What I don't like instead, and I already tried to cut it off and I realized that I was not right, is that like this under top is not nice. It just doesn't convince me, honestly. The next one, I don't have it in my hands because I was wearing it yesterday and it is now in the washing machine. But I was trying it on to you so you can see it. It is this t-shirt that is from Tally Whale again and I bought it on the same day as the other one and I really like it, honestly it looks just so particular, so stylish the only thing that I'm not really feeling in it is the title, like influencer like I'm not an influencer and if I was an influencer I'm not sure that I would want to create it on my shirt so um, the only thing that I do in these cases is I just fold it in so nobody can see it and the shirt still looks great the next one I'm going to show you is um, the turtleneck I was talking about maybe I don't remember uh, is this one and I just got it like two weeks ago and I honestly <sighs> regret it because I know you will say, ah, because it's not a nice color, it's not about the color, I really enjoy this color, like it looks damn cool, I think, and I just like the way as it is. It was not quality and I just wore it twice and it already starts to, you know, like fall apart and like look at this part, maybe you see some dog hair, sorry, it's murky, but you see it's not nice anymore, so it's not gonna last forever, and you know what, I knew it, and I just should have left it there but at the same time I was like okay cold is coming and I'm going sometimes on motorbike and it can be freaking cold so I would just rather wear something like this that you know covers my neck than just you know getting cold but next time I will definitely buy some uh, from, a, from a brand that is quality because this one is not really nice. Da, 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 da. I bought it and I was like, maybe it's not my style. Um, no guys, it was one day that I tried it on and like I went out in this and I felt so good. It's so beautiful, like beautiful. This jacket is beautiful. Dixie is an Italian brand and they are making like uh, really quality products. I love them so much. I often go to their stores with clients as well. I really love them, really love them, and they're not sponsoring me in any any kind of way. So it's just the true love for the store. I like this jacket a lot because it's got colors and also because it's like when you wear it, it's just like so beautiful and so so polished, you know. So I would definitely have to find the right way to wear it with the right items to match it with but it's definitely something in my wardrobe that is really welcomed and appreciated. And one of the biggest jewels of my actual wardrobe is this pair of shoes. I so fell in love with it when I saw it, like we were in an outlet village and we were just walking back towards the car and I just stopped and stared at these shoes in the window and I was like oh my god like I need to try them on I just hope they have my size I need to try them on 
So I went in and they had my size and I was like, okay, this is love for the first time. They are not my most comfortable shoes, obviously, but I think these statement shoes are okay to go out for like, um, they are just worn for a couple of hours and for those couple of hours, it's perfect. Maybe I would not walk in it so long, but it's okay. It is from Emporia Armani. So it was also a big, big, big plus that I knew that it's quality and I'm still like so so in love with these shoes. I still have some items that are maybe to be bought this year, maybe a pair of boots and things like that but I don't really feel like as if it was necessary because here in Milan we still spend a lot of time alone in a house so it's not that you are wearing so many things so I think I still like I think I already have like a lot of stuff all right guys so this is where the video ends hope you enjoyed this tiny haul video and please make sure to subscribe I would really appreciate it see you next Friday ciao